Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for October 2018. This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this reading may not be for you, and typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Leo. This is the Grand Lux Tarot deck. We're going to be clarifying with that New Era Elements Tarot and the Sacred Traveler Oracle. Mm. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is a man who is abusive. Okay, This is an abusive man Okay, in the reverse. He's mentally, verbally, physically, um, emotionally, whatever. This guy is kind of like a bully. My ring's falling off. Um, Now, this is a card of release. It's a card of forgiveness. Wake up call. Wake up call. Uh-oh. You, you're dealing with somebody whose cup was empty, perhaps? Or you may be feeling like you are all in your head. All in, yeah, definitely. Head and heart issues here. There's head issues and heart issues. I feel like somebody is... Definitely not feeling very secure lack of security lack of stability there could be some family feuds going on you know some family fights we have a man that is abusive and a woman that is probably crying about it and that's what it looks like to me um there's some kind of argument somebody could be moving okay you could be releasing this um, waking up for sure. I mean, that judgment is a wake up call. Okay, Leo. So it looks like somebody has like tried to, um, well, they've, they've brought you down, put it that way. I mean, here you are reversed. If you're a man, um, could be a woman, I suppose, but I, I really feel like the king and queens are actually what they are. The kings are men and the queens are women. That's how I, I've, I've come to that conclusion recently. I feel like there's a man here that is conceited, self-centered, um, shallow, um, to a point. I mean, not not really shallow, shallow, but to a be self-centered, yeah, conceited. Um, shallow came out for a reason. I don't know why. I don't, I don't think I've ever used that word in a reading. I don't think I ever have. So I don't know where that came from. Um, I feel as though this is a karmic situation in which somebody is trying to bring some balance back to their lives. It's probably the woman. The woman that is, you know, having a hard time with this may be trying to bring some balance back, trying to do the right thing, trying to put in a little bit of effort, extra effort. You could be deciding to go down a new path. Perhaps, it, you know, this opportunity that has been making you cry isn't the golden opportunity after all it's caused a lot of mental turmoil and now it's become an obstacle this man has become an obstacle and you may be releasing it so that you can be free you know be free of this mental torment okay i feel like you do have a better opportunity here in the middle of the reading with that page of page of wands there's a better suited opportunity for you something that is exciting that will um be a little bit more adventurous than where you are at um whatever whatever is happening it's going to turn out in your favor justice is going to turn out in your favor okay there could be a loss of money or somebody could be moving out like i said change in the home you know you know there definitely is some maybe there's there's some kind of loss Okay, so I, there is some kind of loss here, Leo, but it was bringing you a better opportunity, okay? In the long run, you're going to get a better opportunity. You're going to get something that's better suited for you, where there's actually some teamwork, okay? So, I mean, that's what you're looking for, right? You're looking for teamwork. That judgment is a wake-up call. It's an awakening that this has been an obstacle in your life, and it hasn't been solid, 
and now we have the Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody was involved in a situation where there wasn't... It's like the cup was empty. The, the, the Ace of Cups are both... The cup, there was an empty cup. And it's very dis. This is the Five of Cups. It's very disappointing, isn't it? There's a lot of regrets. There's there's sorrow. There's grieving. There's sadness because something has died. It's been washed up. It's been washed up. There's no more. No more. You can't swim there anymore. Because there, there's too much disorder. You know. There's like. Wherever, whatever the situation was, it was upside down. You know, it was, it turned your life upside down. Made you feel like you were going downhill. You were probably dealing with a person that was on an emotional roller coaster. There was like extremes here. And this change needed to happen. This, this right here is the two of pentacles reversed. This is like, yeah, it's upside down again. Very chaotic. I think you guys have got, had or have gotten yourself into a situation that was very, like a roller coaster, topsy-turvy, upside down, just a chaotic mess. And it's like the love, the love was like, I don't know what, dried up. And you release it. This is the Nine of Wands reverse. This is a release. It's like, you know what? It's time for me to take back my power. I have released, relinquished my power for too long. There's no more electricity here. There's no more electricity in the relationship. And now it's time for me to relight. It's time for me to get back into my element. So I feel like you guys are going through some sort of rebirth you're going through some sort of renewal it's like growth justice balance fairness restoring control you guys are taking back your power you're taking you're freeing yourself from a negative situation that wasn't a feeling fulfilling emotionally the devil reverses like, I'm taking back my power. Finally, finally taking back your power. Facing your demons because happiness is what matters at this point and growth. So there is some happiness here because you're taking back control that, you know, you're, you're freeing yourself from something. This is the Three of Cups reversed. No more giving your power away, right? I'm not going to do that anymore. This is, you know, upright. It's like giving. And it says abundance, but whatever. In reverse, there's no more. I'm not going to give you my power. I'm not going to give you my my money. I'm not going to give you my stability because if you can't put in the extra effort. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who didn't. take any action you know they didn't do their part and it was bringing bad luck and destiny into your life this is bad luck I said destiny I didn't mean to say that I just whenever I see the wheel of fortune I think destiny that destiny came up destiny came out so it appears that this change that is happening this change wherever the change is this change that is happening was destined because you were going backwards. And I remember I said backwards. There's a lot of backwards here. And the Wheel of Fortune reversed is backwards. Somebody was bringing you backwards. Not forwards. They seriously, there's a lot of backwards here. Somebody was bringing you backwards. Stealing your energy. Making you sick, perhaps. I think you guys are... are you're definitely dealing with a karmic situation with that justice in the Wheel of Fortune, whether they're upright or reverse. We're dealing with some karma here. Um, karma and destiny. Now you do have a new opportunity. Something that you can touch. 
So this is a, here. Here's an opportunity that goes, and then you get a new one. And like I said, there's an exciting new opportunity with that page of wands coming, that is stable and secure and long term. But you have to take back your power to get this opportunity. You do. You have to take back the control from whoever it is that's been bringing you backwards. Okay, somebody's been bringing you backwards. That's and it's an abuser of some sort. So. Um, you know, maybe it is. Maybe it's time. This is the this is the four of swords. Maybe it's time to just call a truce and walk away. You know, time to just, you know what? It is what it is. I see it as it is. Let's let's call it as it is. It's time for us to take a break and recuperate. So you may be you may be at that point of, you know, calling a truce and saying you know, there's got to be more than this, and I don't want to live like this. Yeah, somebody isn't, this is the eight of pentacles reverse. Somebody's not, somebody in the dynamic wasn't putting in any effort. They weren't working hard enough to, to keep it solid. So now you're taking, there's your power. You, you're taking back your power. Moving out of this situation. I think that you're dealing with a person that spends a lot of time or they've done something perhaps on social media. You know, they're, they're always looking for kudos. You're dealing with a person that is constantly looking for attention. And I think that you guys have decided to... It feels, I mean, you guys are, this is a card of manifestation. This is a card of manifestation. So it looks like you guys have something new coming in that you've manifested by standing in your power. Standing up for yourself. Because you took action. This is a card of action. So Leo, it appears that you have a, a golden opportunity, a new one being offered to you after you release. This is after you release this, you know, it almost looks like it's a family dynamic, a family feud or or you, you release somebody from your home. You know, I think there's a, there could be a change in the home, a change in your environment that allows you to take back control, take back your power. Um, get back into your element with that sun card being upright. You know, it, it allows you to bring some color back. You know, it gives brings you some color back. You know, allows you to feel happy again. So I feel like there's some sort of release that brings you success. Okay, it's a release that brings you success. It may not have been easy to release, but I feel like you have decided that it's that it's better off that way. It's better off than than staying in this upside down, topsy turvy situation that is a complete mess. So I feel like you guys have been involved in a situation where there's there's some, probably some abuse, whether it's verbal, mental, emotional, physical, whatever. There's been some sort of abuse, and you probably have been all over the place trying to figure out what the best what the best decision is to make but I feel like you you have probably or or you're you have or you're going to make a decision to um not participate yeah this is the ten of cups reversed it's like removing yourself from that unhappy situation it's completion with the Ten of Coins reverse, those are both cards of completion. So I really feel like there's a relationship that may be coming to the, to an end. Because 
somebody knows that there's a better solid opportunity out there. If this other person isn't putting in effort, you know, they're not even trying, then you're probably to the point where, you know, you could be dealing with a, a, a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing with any sign, but anyway, um, this is about being practical at this time. It's time to be practical. You gotta be practical here. And you may have you may have been, you know, taking baby steps to bring success to your life, but those baby step, steps have led, or or are they have led, or they are leading you to a more stable foundation. Okay, so whatever you're doing, you're headed in the right direction. You are. Yeah, I think that you 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 also. I mean, this is the Knight of Wands reverse. I think somebody. In, I mean, the Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody, water sign perhaps, or an Earth sign could be anybody. You could even have a choice between two men. Okay, if you're a woman, you might have a choice between two men. Okay, so I'm just saying. Anyway, I think there's one man here that came in to sweep you off your feet. I mean, the Son of Water. That's the Knight of Cups reverse. This is a person that is full of. Um, shitty love okay this person is is can talk the talk and says all the right words but they have no real substance okay this is prince charming like in in what are you what do you call that charming or prince charming i can't think of anyway he comes in on his horse and sweeps you off your feet and you get halfway to the castle and you fall off and he keeps going okay he's he's doesn't last okay it doesn't last his charm doesn't last okay so that's what you're dealing here with here i think that you've been swept off your feet by an individual who was so charming you know they had the words of uh whatever his name is from that fairy tale and um <laughs> it really began as a fairy tale it was a real fairy tale all right and now the practical situation the practical um reality of this is it was just a fairy tale right so i feel like that's who you're dealing with i think you were dealing with an individual who who talked the talk but absolutely did not walk the walk so i think that you're probably disappointed you're probably disappointed in yourself for allowing this whatever abuse to you know be but I think that you put in a lot of effort and you've tried really hard to make something work. And now it's over. It's done. It's, it's done. It's done. So I see a transform endings bring new beginnings. And I do see a new beginning after your release. So if you guys have released something, there is an opportunity for a new beginning that is going to be more solid and stable and exciting and better suited for you than the one that you just released. When is that one coming? When is that one coming? You know, I don't I don't think that you've completely healed yet from something, but let's see. Yeah, this is a this is uh the nine of pentacles reverse. You need to have alone time. It's not time to rush into another relationship if you've just separated from something. And you may feel like you don't really want to be alone. But you aren't gaining your own self-respect and self-worth and self-esteem that's been lost by jumping right into another relationship. And I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is the independent person, okay? But this, is, this one's reversed. You may feel like you don't want to be alone, but then there's a lack of self-worth. You have to love yourself before you and get back to where you need to be. You have to be abundant in your own right before you you know, jump in. But I do but I do think that there's a new opportunity here that may mess up your independence even with this nine of pentacles reversed. You may you may be like wow, you know, because I feel like there is another opportunity that may you may have thought that you were gonna be on your own, but that may not be the case. This can go both ways. Um we do have Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is a man that but it's in reverse and look at this same same they're both in reverse so you 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 have lost some self-confidence and you some self-esteem and some self-worth here 
So you have to you have to gain that back. And there's a lack of gain with this. See, this card says gain. It's reversed. You have there. You have to gain those things that have been lost before you jump and run and fly into another commitment. Yes, I do see that there's somebody else better suited for you in this situation, but right now I feel like you you have to you need some time to work on you. So I do I see new love coming in right now. I feel like there's an opportunity for something. And maybe that's just you becoming stable again with that Ace of Pentacles. Maybe it's you deciding to have a new approach. You know what? I'm taking a new approach. I'm, I'm going down a new path. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm excited about it. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to go with it. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, and I'm going to work on me. And then all of a sudden, perhaps there's this opportunity that comes in that um, a new opportunity that, you know, messes up your plans a little bit, you know, because things can happen unexpectedly. So, um, you may be thinking you want to delay, you may be thinking that you want to delay being single or you want to delay be getting in a relationship and then, you know, something happens to, you know, there's destiny here. Destiny is reversed, but you've got to look at it like you can't, whatever's meant to be is meant to be. So I do believe that there is probably another person that you're not expecting i don't know where that is coming from but it is i think there's another person that you're not expecting to show up in your life whether it's a friend or a lover or somebody i don't know where that's coming from and or maybe they've shown up already they may have been they may have shown up already and that's the cause of your breakup i mean i don't know Passion and pleasure. Pleasure. Can't talk today. I don't know why. I really don't. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Savor your life. And that's what it's about. It's about you right now. If I can find it. Find joy in the moment, no matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with the people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. And that's what this is. And that's what you're doing. It's about your happiness right now. Getting back in your element. When the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure wherever you can. Allow your senses to be satiated. Sat satiated. <laughs> Satisfied. Find and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. <laughs> you can <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I'm sorry. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. So I think this is a month of happiness because I think that you guys have just taken back your power. Or you're about to. And it's a huge relief. It's like, whew, relief. So that's what I see. So I, I feel like you guys have something really good coming to you. But right now, it's time for you to get back your light. That's where I'm at. Sorry, I can't talk. I don't know what the problem is, but it's obvious, I obviously have one. <laughs> talk to you next time.